Hi guys, this is my build of the Canyon Stoic, which I call the Canyon Stoic 5. So, uh, my intention was to build a project bike based on the Canyon Stoic 2, mostly because I liked the bike color the most, and I had parts and I wanted to order some more parts to build up this bike. Unfortunately, Canyon does not sell a frame-only version of this bike. So, you could call this overkill, uh, but mm, bicycles and cycling is our hobby, so we spend money on it. Okay, so I would call it my dream build, in a sense. Uh, it definitely uh, highlights the frame geometry of the bike and let it go and let me go as far as I want to with this bike. Okay, let's go to the components first. Uh, I changed the wheels because the original ones were really heavy and it was kind of a no-go. Uh, front wheel is DT Swiss 1505 29er and the rear wheel is a 30 Moto carbon rim. Reason why I chose different uh, wheels, front and back, because they have uh, clearly a different purpose and they uh, clearly have a different uh, uh, abuse. And uh, yeah, so carbon rim at the back, which allows a bit of flexibility. So we have rear traction and aluminum rim up front because it's already helped by uh, the fork to take the brunt of the hits. Uh, in my opinion, in my case, uh, my rear tire gets more abuse than the front one, so it made sense to have a really good uh, carbon rim with the lifetime warranty at the back. So, yeah, move forward, drivetrain. Uh, I have a SRAM 12 feet uh, drivetrain mostly. Uh, it's an X at once shifter, and why I said mostly because the front part is actually Shimano. I have fairly long legs, so I stuck with an old 180 Shimano hollow tech crank and XT pedals. Brakes. Uh, Again, an older set of uh, XT uh, one-pot brakes, which served me really well. Uh, and they have plenty of power, combined with the 200 uh, mil rotors back and front. These are uh, lightweight uh, Katana floating rotors, which I'm really happy with so far. Uh, the, the brakes are really grabby, which I like. Uh, but I can modulate it just fine with the pressure on the levers. Uh, cockpit is uh, rental, uh, apex 30mm uh, stem and uh, fat bar uh, handlebar. Added on GA2 grips, which I really like, these uh, fat grips. Uh, and I think the, the red accent matches really well with the Aragon saddle. Uh, as you can see, I have a SRAM AXS dropper post with the lever up front connected wirelessly. I really like this system, it's a staple on all of my bikes. Uh, they have the same seat tube angle, so I can really easily just swap over the seat post and and uh, and the lever if I want to use it on another bike. Uh, so you could say that this is a kind of a dream build. Uh, there's obviously prices are a uh, different matter. Uh, just the the AXS dropper post alone worth as much as as the frame. Uh, so. Still, I think this was a really good upgrade. Uh, the most important part was to swap out the factory wheels. These are much lighter 
I am fairly certain there aren't any any less tough and it just transformed the bike uh, it made it uh, accelerate uh, readily and really really snappy okay I think this is uh, quite a bit lighter than the original uh, uh, bike was oh of course <laughs> one major major upgrade I forgot to talk about is the front fork uh, the factory fork was kind of rubbish uh, it was not moving over damped really bad especially in cold weather so I swapped it out for a Pike 130 mil fork okay uh, which actually moves and, and does what it should be so this is my Canyon Stoic 5 build in quotes I hope you like it uh, I encourage you to use this frame it's, it's really nice it's really stiff uh, it has modern geometry so I think it's a really good basis to to get creative and, and make your dream builds happen. Thank you.